Meet Ted Cavanagh, writer of Itma. 10 a.m. goes for a tramp in garden. Tramp makes getaway, while from hideaway, wife throws crumbs away to feed frozen feathered friends. 10 1 a.m., shivering scriptwriter sees second shower of scraps. Want any crumbs, chum? As he eats his simple breakfast, he tries to think up some new gags for the next Itma program. So much for the first course. Now what's for the afters? The answer is, of course, a lemon. Big piping hot from his own private lemon tree. Coming in from the icy blast of a typical English summer's day, Ted Kavanagh pays a visit to his old world coal shed, where he has a standing order for a small shovel full of kitchen nuts. Ted marches in. It's that phone again. The BBC's ringing up to demand next week's script. It'll be ready in two tunes. Well, better make it three tunes. That's settled. All that remains now is to write the script. He strips his decks ready for action. But the fire doesn't look too good. Ted comes of a long line of firefighters. He's had many fights with this one. His inspiration's still frozen, so he gets out his gag book. The boy's book of riddles and jokes, or funny by gaslight. What was it Mother said about wrapping up well? But it's no good, he can't work in a muffler. In fact, he can't work at all. Where's his cigarettes? Nothing here but ends. Never mind, he'll try a pinch or two of sniff. I'll repeat that, snuff. 11 a.m., gets nose to grindstone, gets out typewriter and gets cracking. What's he typing? Can I do you now, sir? I'll have to ask me dad, or I beg to acknowledge receipt of yours. What's wrong? Of course he doesn't use a typewriter. Perhaps his fan mail will bring inspiration. Here's a likely looking postcard, but it's only a wireless license demand. Before he pays it, he better see if his set works. No good, all he can get today is chili. If only he could hear that chap handily, he might get some ideas. How would it be if, uh, no, he's used that gag about the lady I saw you with last night already. Perhaps if he writes down the tight little help. Let's see what it looks like anyway. No, that doesn't look right. Better not waste paper. Tear it up for salvage. But those letters still mock him. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how Itmar is written. Or is it? <laughs>